BBC Radio 2's Ken Bruce, 70, has admitted there are occasions when he and the broadcaster don't see eye to eye on music choices and he is forced to speak out. The Scot has cemented himself as one of the station's most loved presenters, particularly for his popular music quiz, Pop Master, which sees contestants battle it out every weekday. Speaking in this week's Radio Times, Ken says the BBC are typically happy to let me do it my own way after more than 30 years on the channel. However, he also admitted that opinions differ at times, and he will defy the broadcaster's music policy. Ken explained, there is a policy for Radio 2 that dictates daytime music. But, I can and do send a note to the team saying, any chance we could have this? Or, any chance I can not play this? I can't do justice to something that I think is dreadful. So, if I do get something I don't like, I will say I would rather it wasn't put on the program. It comes as Ken will be fronting BBC Radio 2's Piano Room Month from January 31st to February 25th. The live performances will be broadcast on Ken's weekly mid-morning show and on BBC Sounds. Performers will include Ed Sheeran, Stereophonics, James Blunt, Emily Sanday and more. They will each perform a new song, a classic and a cover, accompanied by the BBC Concert Orchestra. Ken said, I predict cold, rain and possibly even a smattering of snow this February, so what better remedy than to sit back with a warm brew and join me and some of the finest musicians in the world for Radio 2's Piano Room Month. Fans can be assured that Ken's Pop Master Quiz will not be affected by the performances and will continue to air at 10. 30 AM Daily. Ken's love of what he does is what has kept him on air since 1992, and he has previously said he would rather die on air than retire from his show. He told The Mirror, I'm going to die in harness, I think. I'll just keep going, I think. I still get a huge buzz from being on the radio, I love it. I'm not going to walk away in a hurry, I'm not going to look at the passage of time, I'm not going to look at my date of birth and think, it's time I stop. Even if it's me in my old folks home reading out the news bulletins to the other residents, I'll still be doing that because I just love it. I want to do it and you feel better for doing it every time you get on air. Read more in this week's Radio Times, out now.